going on people it's the xbox 448 and today guys i want to talk about um the future i want to talk about uh what i'm predicting to be 2020 uh of course you know for people who are into rumors and speculation um there are a lot of people saying that the next playstation and the next xbox will actually be coming out in 2020 now, I'm looking at what's going on here in terms of the two companies, uh, kind of like the features and options that they are kind of backing right now. And I want to share with you guys what I think is the key to Xbox moving from 2020 and beyond with their uh, project codenamed Scarlet and uh, basically their whole family of, of devices. And, and that would be uh, forward compatibility. Now, for people who follow me, you follow kind of like the numerous shows I'm on, stuff like that, you know that I will get into arguments with people. I will get into healthy discussions with people over forwards compatibility. Um, you know, my, my brother's over on BGST. There's a couple people at, that at first was like, oh, I don't understand why would you do this? You're, you're, if you do forwards compatibility, um, you're not giving the consumer a reason to buy your new hardware. All right. And for people who don't know, forwards compatibility is when a new game comes out for a, a new piece of hardware, like um, like Codename Scarlet, people who own an Xbox One, Xbox One S, or an Xbox One X will still be able to play that game on their system as well. And, and to me, this is a really good thing when you look at where the console gaming industry is going. And, and like I said, there were some naysayers out there talking about, well, why would you do that and take away, you know, potential sales for your new hardware. Now, for those people, um, for people who are talking about hardware sales and stuff like that, I, I have gone on record time and time again letting people know that the hardware is merely a a platform to really make the money and the money in the gaming industry is in the software so if they can do forwards compatibility um have people on on whatever xbox one that they own uh give them the the availability the option to buy the new games and not have to buy the new hardware um, you're starting with an install base on your platform from whatever whatever it is now with Xbox whether you want to say 40 million whether you want to say five uh, five million whether you want to say 50 million it's still more than zero and um, I've, I've talked to a couple developers about this whole thing and and they actually really do like the fact that you know when it comes down to it you're not starting with an install base of zero if you do forwards compatibility. Now, when it comes to the hardware, I think the hardware is going to sell itself. For people who are kind of like the hardcore gamer, you want the most powerful system. Um, you want the most powerful system of, of the brand you prefer as well. So, you know, people that are, you know, diehard Xbox fans are going to want the new Xbox when it comes out. Um, diehard PlayStation fans are going to want the PS5 when, when it's released as well. That's just a natural thing. So those consoles are going to sell. The whole thing is, um, when it comes down to it, like I said, the, the software is where the money is in the industry and the software you know as the software sales you know get bigger or whatnot that's what gives the developers you know the tools to make more games as well so i i don't see how this could be a negative you know for anybody when it comes down to it um i know i i am interested to see what the new pieces of hardware have in store for us and most likely i am going to get one of them because I am one of those what you know people would call hardcore gamers. I, I want to have you know power behind my system. But for the people who don't really care about power, but they want they want to play the new games and everything like that, they are still a consumer base. And they're, if they're still taking part in the, in the part of the industry that really like makes the money for the devs, makes the money for the companies putting out the hardware why would you force them to get new hardware at like 400 or, or 500 dollars to me that does not make sense 
all in all, I hope both companies do forwards compatibility because uh, it, to me, it's a great option for the gamer. It's a great option for the corporation um, to make money. And, and you're not forcing that consumer to go ahead and, and spend that, that $400, $500 on a new system just to play the newest games. So you still have them buying your games. Now, the future of Xbox to me looks really bright. When you look at like Game Pass, you look at um, the possibility of forwards compatibility, I think they already took that, that whole power situation. And I, I think... Uh, when it comes to the new set of hardware, Xbox is still gonna have the most powerful system. You know, ever since the X came out, Xbox One X, Xbox has had the most powerful system. And I think that's gonna continue. Um, you look at what Microsoft has done with buying five new studios, rumors of more on the way. To me, the Xbox brand, it, it, it's to me it's in a really good situation for the future now I know a lot of people talk about hardware sales and all that good stuff but guys those console war arguments are pretty much over I mean you can you can I can almost guarantee that next generation you're gonna see you know Sony and Xbox talk about active users and stuff like that and, and of course if Sony has an advantage with a number they're gonna advertise it as well but like how meaningful is that number going to be? Now, if, if Sony, um, if they see the future the way a lot of other people do, they would go forwards compatible as well. They would have over 80 million uh, consumers ready to buy their, their new games, whatever they might be at launch and moving forward on the PlayStation 5. To me, it's a no-brainer. It makes sense. But guys, I wanted to make this video, uh, as usual, hit up the comment section. I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys see what I'm saying? That when it comes to hardware sales, I've been stating this from the beginning. The only reason why hardware sales matter is because it puts that platform in the home for people to buy the games. And the games is really where the profit is. It's really where the growth is. And that's really where... You know these companies are gauging things well ex except for sony in terms of marketing because they want to show people that they have sold the most systems xbox would do the same thing if they were you know number one right now in terms of hardware sales uh, I, I mean that that's a no-brainer as well it's a business thing you want to market your good numbers that's <laughs> that's just common sense it's common business sense but um Hit up the comment section. Let me know if you think they should both go forwards compatible. I don't really see why they, they shouldn't. I don't really see why a gamer would be like, oh, no, don't do that. Um, but I, I'm interested to hear your opinions. So a, as usual, you know, if you like the video, you like the gameplay, you like the topic, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. I have a couple more kind of like thoughts running in my mind about gaming and stuff like that. So I'm going to be hard at work today on the computer uh making videos and and scheduling them out for release so um it's gonna be an interesting week on my channel uh, I, I i hope you have subscribed and uh stay tuned but as for now this is the xbox 448 and i am definitely signing off Trying to get demons up out of me. Demons. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Beast. Deceasing opponents so properly. Opponent. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? Dark. We come to take this shit over.